How to thrive in the new AI world. We come across a great number of things that AI can accomplish. From hospitals using it to detect cancer, to the ability to predict what the customer will do next. From detecting software intrusions, to executing high frequency trading. This is all great, but they speak from the company's perspective. As an employee of any of these companies that implements AI, where does that put you? What part of your job can machines do and therefore take away? The future of your work will change. There's no doubt about that. A telephone switchboard operator or a lift operator does not exist today. Travel agents are few and far between. And store checkout cashier's days are numbered. AI is even beginning to take over some parts of white collar professions like doctors and lawyers. So the question is, how can you leverage your talent and skills to position yourself as a valuable contributor to the future work ecosystem? A ton of management concepts have been created around organizational management. Things like business process re-engineering to make businesses better, blue ocean strategy to move from a high competition space to a low one, balanced scorecard to measure the performance along more than one dimension, and branding to create a favorable image of the business. I believe that as an individual contributing value to society and to the company you work for, you can adapt and use many of these principles to differentiate, collaborate, market, and brand yourself in the complex ecosystem that you exist in. Think of your current job. Your boss supervises your work. You interact with coworkers to get work done. You use machines and computers to help you do your job. You participate in many business processes. You make decisions moving projects forward. You create documents and presentations to communicate ideas. You help implement projects. You manage your own team. You prioritize work and tons of other stuff that you typically do. Now in this mix, throw in artificial intelligence systems that can do more and more of what you do today. Now how will that change your work life? Consider other changes that might happen, such as the people you will serve not needing your services anymore, new products being introduced, new technologies shifting what you do, and so on. Well, such change is going to happen to most of us. To transform yourself so that you can still be valuable in the new ecosystem of the future, you can follow the steps that businesses typically take to transform themselves. You have to first understand your current state, create a highly likely possibility of the future, figure out your current capabilities, figure out which ones are likely to be automated so that you can focus on enhancing the others, and take steps to transform yourself to be valuable in that future. You can enhance those capabilities through your job, learning and education, partnering with others, etc. Each person's situation is different and it's not feasible to offer a one size fits all approach. Instead, a visual learner like you can depict your environment using symbols and shapes, just like I've done here. Back to the idea of applying some of these management concepts on ourselves instead of on the business, and we as people have an advantage. Businesses are inanimate. They don't have emotions or compassion. That's why businesses can create a competitive advantage and crush their competition like Netflix did to run Blockbuster out of business. But humans are, for lack of a better term, more human. That's why, though my best friend and I fought hard to score better grades than each other, we helped each other out sharing information and tips about colleges so that we could go to the same college. So when you model your ecosystem, use lines and shapes to understand your current state, 
use relevant management concepts to guide your journey, and pepper in the human side of you, your colleagues, and your relationships to create the future where you and your friends can thrive in an environment of intelligent machines that you will be surrounded by. To help you even more on this journey to a fantastic future, I'm soon releasing a book titled AI and You, How to Thrive in the Future. In this book, I'll help you visually model your own ecosystem to create your own map so that you can place yourself in a spot where you can thrive. The book will be available on Amazon for pre-order soon. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Thank you so much for being so supportive.